All right, now before I open this thing up, uh, problem it's having is it's not opening and it doesn't read disc. Now there is a disc inside of it, but I don't know what disc it is, but I was told that there was a disc inside of it and, uh, and it doesn't open. So got the controller hooked up to it. Let's see, hit open, uh, hit open. Trying to read, nope, just automatically goes back into open. You can see that flashing. Hit it again. Still not opening. Still not opening. Alright, so let's try the button. Let's see if I can get both of these in there. Nope, she goes to reading and then tries to open and it doesn't. All right, got some work to do. And I've already, you know, taken it apart a good bit. Got those down there. As you can see the, the long six screws. Um, but I mean, you've all seen probably tear down videos before. And uh, so anyways, I already, you know, did all that already a little bit that is um but this is where we are right now and the problem with this 360 is it does turn on um and if you know you just wanted to do digital then there you go but physical games it will not read games it immediately um says open tray so we're going to try to fix that today and give me one second and go ahead and flip this over so for those of you that don't know uh, where to take these screws off those are the only six to be able to get to the disk drive and the actual motherboard those are the only six screws you need to take off now there's a butt load here um, but it's this one right here this one right here and this one right here and then this one right here, this one right here, and then this one right here. That's the only six that you need to take off to be able to get this off um, and to get to the motherboard and the disk drive. So give me one second and uh, flip this back over. All right, and so I got to flip back over. And as you can see, man, this thing is really dirty. I got this, this is uh, one of the 360s that I picked up off that big lot um a couple of weeks back i'm just now getting around to it but as you can see man this thing is really dirty really dirty really dirty so we're gonna get this thing all you know cleaned up and taken apart or whatever uh but we'll see what it looks like in the inside and you can see down there man this thing was uh pretty bad pretty bad but yeah but anyways i'll uh, get this top off here and uh which you have to pull from the back and of course it's gonna be a little bit hard with me doing it with one hand so give me one second and i'll pull this off and uh we'll see what it looks like on the inside be right back all right i got that top off there's that down there and it's just as bad really nasty inside and let this thing focus and you guys can check this out man this thing is disgusting <laughs> I know you guys can't see everything, man, but there is all kind of like big time dust, dust bunnies, and you can see how nasty that is. And try to get over here and look as well. But uh, yeah, thank God, no, uh, no bugs. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank God, I've I've had some horror stories. Uh, I could tell about those. And I'm trying to lift this up here, so you guys. Yep, there we go. You see that big old dust bunny down there. So this thing is really nasty, guys. It's really disgusting. Um, and then there is a plug. Let me spin this around so you guys can see it. Uh, yeah. So you got to make sure you unplug it from here and also unplug it from here. And I will do that in a second. Um, but yeah, you unplug it from there and you unplug it from there and be careful with this part right here, which you could take it off, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna need to do that. Uh, but you take those two off right there, and then that 
this whole thing would just literally just lift right up out of there. Give me a second, and uh, I'll go ahead and unplug those things, and we'll get it out of here. Give me one second. <clears throat> All right, so I got the disk drive out. It's sitting right here, of course. And we can get a little bit more. can look a little bit more and a little bit closer at the motherboard and how nasty this thing is. I've actually seen them worse, though, guys. But this is pretty bad. Pretty nasty. There's those plugs that I was telling you guys about. Look at this thing, man. Ugh, it's absolutely disgusting. No wonder the disc, the, uh, the disc doesn't work. So yeah, so what happens is, like I said, this thing turns on miraculously. <laughs> uh, no red ring of death or anything, man, but it does turn on. Um, but the way it looks in here, and as old as this thing is, I'm surprised, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, we'll get it all nice and cleaned in here, of course. I'll blow everything out, take this thing outside, and, and uh, blow everything out with, of course, I always like to use electronic duster or I like to use this this is what I usually get and I uh, just blow all those blow all that dust out um, uh, but anyways yeah so main thing is though we're gonna get all this cleaned and uh, really cleaned up real good I'll clean the, of course the rest of it too um, but this is what the problem is we need to get inside of here so what we will do is flip this thing over and it is these screws right here. You just have to take those apart, take those off, and it will be able to lift right off. And then the, we'll come right back, and I'll show you what you guys, hopefully, the well, I mean, the, it could, it's either one or two things. And uh, so give me a second. Let me take this off, and then we'll get to that. All right, so I've now got this off. And just look at the dust on this, guys. This is the inside. Just look at the dust, man. Yuck. And you look down here. Look at that. That is right there. That is a big dust ball, guys. <laughs> That's a big dust ball. And no wonder this thing doesn't read disc. Um, I mean, my guess. I mean, look at that. Look how nasty that is. It's disgusting. Uh, but yeah, my guess, you know, like I said, it's either one or two things. Either one, this laser here is burn out it's just burn up it's no longer working or and this is what i'm guessing uh the problem is it's probably just really dirty guys that laser is probably just extremely dirty i mean you can see the dust look at that i mean it look at that so what we're going to do is we're just going to clean this up really good and uh just like I always say, you know, I love to use I love to use this right here with a Q-tip. And uh, of course, I'm going to clean it all out. Uh, you know, I'll blow all the dust all the dirt out, all the dust out and all that stuff. But when I get all that off and, and done, then I will use this right here with a Q-tip and get it good and basically I'll try to show you guys real quick. Uh but yeah, just get a little bit of that and then basically just real gently just clean it up real good and my guess is that's probably what the problem is um but we will see let me get it all cleaned up and everything and uh we'll see if if that's the issue hopefully that's the issue um but we'll see so give me a little bit and be right back. all right man and look how much cleaner it is now man i put some work on here you can see all the Ew. so anyways i went outside and i blew all the dust uh the big big part of the dust out uh got all the big chunks out you can see how much cleaner it is now and it was it was real bad in here right in here i'm not sure if anybody if it was something was spilled in it I'm not real sure uh as you can see ugh, nasty both sides uh but yeah, it was it was really nasty in here, guys. And I also uh, got this out and cleaned it up real good too. I've already put it uh, put it back together. I'm gonna be putting this now back and plugging it all together. 
Um, now I'm not going to put any of this stuff on yet or that stuff on yet, which I still got to clean those actually. Um, but all right, so we are back, and uh, as you can see, and uh, I got it all nice and cleaned. Um, well, as, as good as I could get it, but it came out rather nice. I do have the uh, the hard drive over there. I'm not going to put that back on yet, just in case. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and test this thing out. Got the controller plugged back up to it. And uh, let's go ahead and just turn it on this way, I guess. Now again... Uh, this thing had no issues turning on, as you uh, showed in the, showed you guys already earlier in the video. Um, we first started this off, had no problem turning on. Uh, back out of that, let's see. Okay. Now the problem was we were having was it was not opening, and oh, get my hand out of there. Sorry, guys. Uh, it was not opening and wasn't reading disk. So. Let's go ahead and take the controller, as you can see here. Alright, you can see that it is opening now. So let's close it. It does close. It's, uh, obviously there's no disc in it, but let's open it again. Oh. Alright, so, and the disc that was in there, which I will be at a add this to the collection now no there's no case <laughs> but uh dead or alive extreme too so i guess i'll be uh on the lookout for uh this case but let's put that in there and we'll go ahead and just use the button to close it it's reading reading come on seems to be you hear that, guys? If you hear that, up oh, says play game, pops up. You hear that? Oh, the loud Xbox 360. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Another one saved, guys. Another one saved, it looks to be. Oh, yeah. All right. I love it. I love it. Well, there you go, guys. We brought this one back to life. Able to clean it all up. Got everything working back with it. And the problem was, uh, so after I got everything done, oh, let's go ahead and go back to home. Uh, yes, sorry. All right, so, all right, get that to calm down. The problem was with the with the with the drive, the disc drive. Okay, obviously you saw how dirty it was inside of there. So the eye was extremely dirty as well. Uh, the laser um, so that was the problem with that the problem with the drive itself opening up and, and not being able to open and close man it was so so dirty um, inside that drive around that round it was like crusted or whatever that was part of it the rubber band that's in there that uh, goes it goes around a little spindle and a little wheel and it gets the gears all going and that's how it opens up um, that also was really dirty, really dirty. And what I did was I boiled the rubber band for about 10 minutes or whatever, you know, and uh, getting it to shrink down, uh, probably a little bit back down to where maybe it originally was and getting it super clean as well. Um, but yeah, just cleaned everything around and uh, hey, that's that's all this one took, man. Didn't have to really do too much to it other than severely clean it. Um, but yeah, brought this one back to life and it is now working as you guys see. And uh, yeah, pretty excited. And uh, just add this one to the collection. Like I said, I've got the, the Halo 4 edition one down there. 
Um, so I won't be using this one too much. So I'll just throw it to the side. I used to have one of these back in the days, but now, you know, I'll throw this one back in the collection or throw it in the collection, I should say, and, uh, just let it, just let it chill. But, uh, yeah, if you guys like the video, hopefully, hopefully this will help you guys out and you guys can, you know, do this on your own. And, uh, maybe this would be the, pro your problem that you're having. Uh, make sure to definitely hit that subscribe button. Uh, definitely give me a big thumbs up if you like the video and, uh, make sure you turn that notification on, uh, that bell on notification bell on as well. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> you guys have a great one game on.